गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन चैप्टर सिक्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू विथ जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनी वी हैव लर्न अबाउट सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप पार्टनरशिप हिंदू अनडिवाइडेड फैमिली कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी नाउ अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्म ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनी जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनी द मीनिंग सेज एन आर्टिफिशियल पर्सन पे एन अटेंशन एन आर्टिफिशियल पर्सन come into existence by law with a common goal artificial person it means that the person created by law the person the company act as a person as a human the way human is working company can do a contract company can do the business company can uh, do the activity on its own name so that is what the first expression of company in another words you can say that company is an artificial it is artificial invisible and intangible person in the eye of law a person created by law you can't see the company you can only read the name of a company company don't have a physical uh, human body as we have company only known by its name functions done by the representatives of the company nominated employees of the company nominated board of directors of the company they will run the company but the name of the company that is what considered as an artificial invisible person created by law the definition if you see of a company it is said in that companies act 2013 that what they say that company as act 2013 company means the company registered under this act or under any former act earlier the companies act 1956 was implemented after 2013 act now the 2013 act is implemented so any registration done under this act that particular registered form known as a company so they have expressed the meaning of the private company the company which is not a private to be called as a public joint stock company so in a companies act 2013 the expression of the company say that under this act whatever company registered is known as a joint stock company now let us see the characteristics how you can identify any joint stock company that these character company business can be called as a joint stock company number 1 that is the legal personality as we have specified in the meaning itself artificial person created by law so it is a legal personality this particular legal personality can enter into contract company can enter on its own name into contract and do the business activities do the business work can file a shoe on its own name company can file a shoe legal court help can be taken by the company against another company or another person whosoever has harmed the company the suit against the company one company can file a shoe and take a legal help against the another company So either against the trader or against the company or on its own company can undergo into the contract. So all these manner company prove that company is having a legal personality. Next is that is the perpetual existence. The life of a company is long, too much long as compared to sole proprietorship, partnership, or a Hindu undivided family. why the life is long because it is not affected by the death of the owner owner may die shares will be transferred from the one name to another name on his the nomination is done so company has no effect of the life or the death of the owner the insolvency of the member any member may declare insolvent company has nothing to do with it because company <coughs> excuse me members have their limited liability and because of that the insolvency of any member has no connection it is 
only come into an end when the liquidation of the company took place only when the company's assets are too short to pay the liabilities of the company and if it is on the urge of liquidation then and then only company going to end till that time it continue it may long last for 50 years 100 years 150 years or many more you must have heard so many companies since long our forefathers who have purchased the shares of those company till today we are having the shares of those company and companies are working very well next is that is the division of capital how company collect the capital company collect a huge amount of capital in the form of a shares the total capital of the company divided into the number of shares those shares are known as a equity shares the value of those equity shares is 10 rupee face value per share so whatever the total capital divide with the 10 face value whatever the number comes that number become the equity share capital of that particular company so the shares are divided are in a small fraction as a share the large capital collected by the company from the market anyone who is capable of investing 10 rupee and purchase a share can be the owner of the company the holder of the share is the owner of the company whosoever purchase the share he can say that i am an owner i have a right of vote and i have a voice in management when the annual general meeting of the company held such a holder has a right to speak and ask the company a uh, question about the company in the uh, annual meeting of company so in this manner the division of capital into the shares easy transfer of shares in case of a partnership we have observed it is difficult you have to have a consent of various partners if you want to withdraw your shares but in company no such problem is there as per the provision of the company's law you are free to trade your shares into the stock market the registered company share purchase and sold there in the through the stock market only thing is that your company share must be registered into the stock market if the company name is registered you can easily purchase new shares also you can sell your shares also there is no question of getting any consent of other owners or any restrictions in case of buying and selling of shares so very easy to transfer the shares of company the next is that is the common seal company known by its seal seal means a logo seal means a particular uh, sign with that company can recognize if you have observed the name of reliance the reliance is written in a particular manner the capital r that is what the common seal for reliance like that if you have observed that tata you will find a particular way of writing the name of tata that is what the common seal now this common seal should be there on each contract each contract whatever company does should be on the paper on which that common seal appear the share certificate are also having that common seal so that recognition can be done you can find on each and every document of the company so that you can get the concern that company is concerned about whatever information are written on those documents so common seal has to be appear in each and every document which is done by company if you have seen that gsfc that the company which is in the baroda city you will find an alphabet g written in a particular manner that is for the common seal for gsfc management that who does management of the company the elected members by the shareholders are known as a director the person any owner of the company can nominate his name to be there in the list of elect election member now if all the shareholder 
vote for the person whosoever is having the maximum vote that person will be retaken into the managing committee individually those persons are known as a director and collectively you can say that they all are called as a board of directors all together in case of a private company you must have minimum two director in case of a public company you must have minimum three director up to 11 you have the list of directors and those directors are elected by the members owners shareholders of the company so the elected members by the shareholder they manage the company and all the directors are known collectively as a board of director and this is to be done as per the memorandum of association of the company and as per the articles of association of company in that company has written the rules and regulations and qualifications about the director that who can be the director and what is the procedure to become a director so as per the memorandum and article the management of the company can be done by the election democratically done by the member of the that is a shareholder of the company next is that is the status of member the status of member are known as a shareholder and they are the owner they are called once in a year minimum in the annual general meeting that is a statutory meeting in statutory meeting minimum once in a year all the shareholders are officially allowed to question allowed to know about the company's performance allowed to know about any resolution to be passed in the company and whatever the questioner and whatever the management issues are there they must be knowing they must be invited to uh, discuss about those issues so the shareholders are the prime authority to know about company in annual general meeting they are the king only for one day that is annual general meeting for all the rest of the days the elected members they will decide and run the company next is that is the number of members the company are of two type private company and a public company in a private company minimum two members are required to register a company and maximum you may have 200 members up to that this revision of the members is done after that act 2013 in the companies act 2013 earlier it was limited up to 50 but now we have to remember minimum to maximum 200 for the public company the minimum members you have seven and maximum there is no limit whatever number of shares you can call that is depends on that debt equity ratio and based on the authorized capital of the company to that limit what number of shareholder you can uh, have collect money from the market that many members you may have next is that is liability of members two type of liability up till now we have seen unlimited liability that is in the sole proprietorship in partnership in the hindu undivided family unlimited liability only of a karta and in cooperative society we have learned the concept of limited liability limited liability means limited up to the investment done by the shareholder so here also the liability of the member are the limited to the investment done by the shareholder if you have purchased more shares your liability up to that figure if you have purchased only one share of 10 rupee your liability is up to 10 rupee now there are certain companies with an unlimited liabilities but those companies are not found in our country so for us the only one option is that is limited liability of the shareholder in case of company next is fundamental right as we say that company is an artificial person created by law but artificial person not a human so all the fundamental rights what the indian citizens are enjoying 
of India. All those rights company does not have. Company is a person, but not the right, fundamental right as the citizens are enjoying. That to be kept in mind. Voting right. In case of a cooperative society, we have seen that voting right per person. You have thousand shares or one lakh share or one share. All the three category of the member will vote only for one. While here, the voting rights are more the share, more the voting power. As many as more shares you are owning, that much power is there. If a person X is having one lakh share, he is owning the one lakh shares in unit, in number, then his voting power is one lakh. Another person Z, if owning 100 shares, then his voting power is only up to 100 shares, means 100 times. So more the shares, more the power. The next is, that is the dividend, that is a part of profit of the company. At the end of the financial year, the profit and loss account prepared and whatever is the divisional profit after tax company found, that is divided among the members which is known as the word dividend. The dividend is an income for the shareholder. More the shares you are holding, more dividend you will get. Less the shares, less dividend you will get. Now, how much dividend company will declare? That depends on the earning capacity of a company. If the good financial year is there, company may have more profit, more dividend. If the financial year, like as we have the pandemic year COVID-19, our financial year is too bad, our economy is too bad. So definitely company don't have much profit. So, they have less dividend in this particular year. So, dividend depends on the profitability of the company. More the profit, more the dividend. Less the profit, less the dividend. So, in this manner, you can identify the company which is to be called as one of the big form of business organization. Companies are giant from the beginning. Companies does mostly that uh, manufacturing business and companies are working on a large scale. These are the few prime character of the joint stock company. I hope you all must have understood the meaning, definition and characteristics of company. Thank you.